In today's lesson, I will teach you 11 English idioms that use the word drop. Let's get started. Don't miss a lesson. Click the red subscribe button, then click the bell. Hello, Real Fluency friends. I'm Trisha, and I'm here to teach you real English using real life so that you can reach real fluency now. And today, I will teach you 11 English idioms with the word drop. But this is only part one because there are so many idioms in English, idioms and phrasal words that use the word drop that if I tried to put them in one lesson, it would be really long and really too boring. So I decided to divide it up into two different lessons, 11 today and 11 in another video. So to break it up a little bit. So 11 English idioms today with the word drop and 11 on another video. The first idiom is a drop in a bucket. What does that mean? It means a very small amount of something, only a small percent of what you actually need. So literally, this is a bucket. It's a drop you'd have. It's a dog hair hanging on this. So you have a dropper, you'd have like a drop. Can you see it? <laughs> well, two drops. A drop of water, a drop of water in a bucket. It's not very much, even for a bucket this size. One drop of water in a bucket is no, is not a lot. So a drop in a bucket means just a small amount, just a small fraction or percent of what you actually need for something. So a sample sentence is, the amount of money he made was only a drop in the bucket compared to the amount that he needed to buy a new car. Related is, a drop in the ocean, which means pretty much the same thing. The next idiom is you could hear a pin drop, which means to be very quiet. So a pin would be like a pin that you use when you're sewing or for something to pin something together. A pin, that, not, not the kind of pin that you write with, but like pin like this. A pin like this, if you dropped it, you can't hear that unless it's very quiet. So the idiom means it's so quiet that you could even hear something tiny like a pen dropping. A sample sentence with this idiom is, there was an awkward silence. No one knew what to say. It was so quiet you could hear a pen drop. The next idiom is, at the drop of a hat, which means immediately without planning or with little cause. And it really has nothing to do with hats, especially this silly hat, but what the heck. At the drop of a hat. But what it means is just to do something right away, just immediately without thinking a lot. So a sample sentence is, if you need my help, just let me know. I can come to your house at the drop of a hat. Another sample sentence with this idiom, he changes his mind at the drop of a hat. You never know what he might do next. Number four is drop by. It means to visit someplace in an informal way, probably not announced before time. So a sample sentence is, if you're in a neighborhood, you should drop by our house and say hello. Number five is drop dead, which can mean literally somebody just suddenly dying, but it can also mean in the, to tell somebody in a rude sort of way to go away. You don't want them to stop. You don't want them around. Sample sentence is, if he thinks I'm going to put up with his nonsense, he can just drop dead. The next one, number six, is drop dead gorgeous, or sometimes it's used as drop dead beautiful. It doesn't mean anything about dying at all. It means someone is very nice looking, very pretty. So a sample sentence is, let's see, he usually dates women who are drop dead gorgeous. So what chance have I got? Or... She's drop dead gorgeous. No wonder her YouTube videos do so well. Number seven is drop like flies, which means like when more than one person suddenly gets sick or maybe dies. A sample sentence is the flu was really bad around here last year. People were dropping like flies. Number eight is drop off the radar, which means to sort of go away or hide from the public for a while. Sample is she used to make a lot of YouTube videos, but a couple months ago, she just dropped off the radar. 
I don't know what happened to her. Number nine, drop out of sight. The literal meaning is you can't see someone. They're out of your sight. So like the police were chasing the thief, but they lost him as he dropped out of sight. But otherwise it means kind of the same thing as drop off the radar. So another sentence would be, I don't know what happened to them. They just dropped out of sight and I haven't heard anything about them since. Number 10 is drop the ball, which means to make a mistake or fail in some way, or it can mean literally to drop a ball. So a sentence is, I wouldn't hire him to do this job. He's dropped the ball before and will probably do so again. Number 11 is drop something in someone's lap, which means to give something to someone suddenly or without warning. It could be something good or something bad. So a sentence with that is, you pretty much dropped the solution to the problem right in my lap, which is a good thing. That means he just he had a problem and someone just helped you solve your problem without you don't even have to try or do anything. They just give you the solution to your problem. And that's all for today's lesson. The next lesson will be 11 more English idioms that use the word drop. So before you go, don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel if you haven't done that yet. And if you want a free ebook to help you with English, click down here. And when you get done, if you have time, you can watch another English lesson. Goodbye for now, and don't forget, with hope, anything is possible.